today I'm going to be completing the nebula grind and unlocking my final gun. This has been a blast even if it has taken a while but anyways I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. So the final gun we've got is the LW3A1 Frostline and we need to get 10 elite zombie kills with it to unlock nebula for all 33 base guns in the game. Now to do that I'm going to be doing a technique that I've been doing for every other gun in nebula so far and we're going to start the easter egg and get that done partly and then we're going to fail the LTG device step on purpose so that we can keep looping that and get elite zombies every time and hopefully this sniper won't take too long to do but I guess we'll see. Now as I said this is my final nebula camo for the base guns but i want to hear how your progress is going with it so make sure to let me know down in the comments how far with the camo grind you've got so far i posted a video about unlocking opal and the, i had some people let me know where they were up to and it sounds like most people are kind of at that opal uh, slash afterlife stage and i gotta say man once you get gold and then the opal the camo progress is pretty smooth sailing from there like it's took me a while but but the gold and the opal definitely take up the majority of the process so as always what i'm gonna do is stay here for now rack up some points and then go and pack a punch my gun i'm also gonna pick up these pistols just to make uh, life a bit easier as you can see we've got nebula on these pistols and it is looking great i actually really like the camo i'm not sure whether i prefer dark matter or nebula to be honest with you i'm currently going for dark matter and uh, in like an hour and a half stake out 24 7 is going to drop so that's definitely going to make things a lot easier but i don't know i really really like nebula in this game i think it looks pretty sweet so i don't know if any of you have unlocked this camo yet but as you can see when i shoot the more i shoot the more red the gun gets and it looks pretty pretty sweet i can't lie and by the way can i say this directed mode I, I did most of the camo grind without it because i basically finished it before directed mode came out like i got all the mystic gold done before directed mode came out but the guns that i did do it made this grind super easy man i can imagine now trying to do it now that the mode is out it's definitely going to make um people's lives a lot easier right we just about have enough to open up all the doors and then we're going to need to camp a little longer for pack a punch but i want to get going because otherwise i'd never get the sniper camo done so we just need to investigate the church here and start the easter egg process and then i need to head up here to the cemetery and wait for the groundskeepers to spawn in so here he is here so i'll just take him out and grab his key and then grab the handbrake here and i've kind of just realized that i messed up buying and pack a punch in these pistols because i'm gonna have to trade them out soon so i can get the jet gun and complete the easter egg but you know but while i have them i'm definitely gonna buy a phd because otherwise i'm just gonna die straight away i tell you what i can't wait for the new zombies map uh citadel de Mort to come out i think it comes out about a week from when i'm recording this but from what we've seen the map looks sick and i can't wait to play that so i'll definitely be making some videos on that map too now we need to quickly grab this water valve and then i can start the bowling alley step and hopefully i'll do this without going down but you never know we're just gonna stick it we're gonna stick it we're gonna stick it we're gonna stick it we're gonna stick it oh my god that was a bit too close, but... But anyways, we can grab the water pressure gauge, and then we can go and blast open the comic book store. So I'm going to craft a mangler cannon and blast it open. Am I being stupid? Where is it? Am I completely being an idiot right now? This here. There we go. So now I can craft the jet gun and i'll have to drop my pistols though now i can craft this device and hopefully we'll get a mangler first time so i can grab the ether canister and put it down next to the trap so we'll put that down there and then put the ltg device right here and then protect this portal for one minute okay it's round seven and we have a mangler i'm not really sure what's going on there why have we got a mangler is that part of the game i didn't think it was all right, so of course we get an abomination and I don't want this. So I'm going to try and quickly take him out, but I've got to take him out at the right place. Otherwise it will fail. I need to turn on this trap and get him on here and then just blast him with bullets. There we go. So now we need to dump this canister back in this machine here and grab the Strauss counter. And then real quick, if anyone gets confused with this, right now it's showing red. So if it shows red, it's got to be set uh, one click to green. If it shows yellow, it's got to be set two clicks to yellow. And if it shows green on the counter, then it needs to be set to red, which is three clicks. So this is set to yellow, so we'll click this twice and then this one is red so we'll set this to green which is one click and that's it so now what i can do is grab this canister and put it here but what we want to do is not kill the boss on it we're going to pack a punch my gun a bit more and then i'm going to put the ltg device down here and it will spawn a mangler but an elite version and then so i want to kill him 10 times and on the last time i'm going to hopefully jump off this bus and do some sort of really embarrassing terrible trick shot because 
I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of cool. So now before we start that, I'm going to sit on top of this roof here and just go through some of the rounds to try and get my points up because to make this process a lot easier, I'm going to need to pack a punch my gun maybe one more time, grab some perks, maybe a bit more armor, you know, just generally gear up a bit and then we can start the process of getting through the elite zombies. And I'm lagging in a solo game. How, how, how does that even make sense? Why am I lagging in a solo game? This is a solo game of zombies and I'm lagging. I don't, maybe I just don't understand video games, but this is... I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna have to try and save and quit real quick. All right, okay, so this is a problem. So, because I save and quit because of the lag, I've now got a abomination, but I'm pretty sure if I save and quit again after killing him, then I should get a different um, mini boss for it instead. Okay, there we go, that's much better. So now we need to take this guy out, and just before he dies, I need to switch to my sniper and take him out with that, so then it counts towards the process of nebula. And there we go, so that is one out of ten. So now we just wait for the round to restart and we can spawn him back in and continue the process over and over again. I would definitely recommend though using this shotgun because even though it's only a pack of puns one right now and blue, it still makes this process relatively easy. Especially because seeing as we're on directed mode, the round isn't going to go past 15. And the longer you play, the more you can upgrade your gear anyway. So this just makes this process really simple. So there we go, that's the second one. There we go. The only thing you do have to worry about is when you're shooting him and getting his health low with the shotgun, you can accidentally just kill him with the shotgun and then obviously that means it doesn't count. So just be wary of that when you're trying to do this. There we go. That's the fourth one, I believe. There we go. That's five out of ten. That's six. That's seven. That's number eight. That's nine. And now we just need to clear this horde and spawn in the final one for Nebula on all 33 base weapons in the game. Thank God. So here we are, we'll spawn him in and then hopefully I can trick shot him just, you know, just for the for the aura. <laughs> but I'm not really good at trick shotting, so we'll see how this goes anyways. Just get him down a bit to pretty low health so he can be a one tap. Clear all the zombies out as well just to make my life a bit easier. Right, here goes nothing. We got an insta kill, so we might as well try it here. And we missed. How many attempts is this going to take then? Moses would never have imagined. It was quite remarkable. There we go. Let's go. Oh my god. It is about time. It's only taken me seven in game days of time, something like that. But finally, we've got it done. Let's go. Oh, that feels, that feels amazing. Thank God for that. And here we have it. That is Nebula on every single base weapon in the game. If you did enjoy this video, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And comment below if you want me to post more videos uh, going for Dark Matter as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all later.